So there's two main Japanese language, like, like character systems. There's hiragana, which is like the woman's lettering. Okay. And then there's the men's, like, which is the katakana. And it's a bit straighter and more edged. And then like there's also ninjas. Like, yeah, like wah, wah. And then, then the woman's is kind of curly. And the women develop that by sewing the letters in as like a secret message into their clothes. Kind of cool. There's less strokes. The Tofukuji temple is famous for koya viewing from the wooden bridge. We could see the colors changing, but in peak autumn, it's a sight to cherish. Tofukuji is a Zen temple, and the koya here is said to be the best in all of Kyoto. As Liam and Joy explored the grounds, I found a quiet corner to sit down and try and feel the Zen vibes.
altar offering prayers for the dead at a shrine for the departed, we walked along the street to find yet another hidden gem. The Higashiyama Temple District has a lot of shrines, but the best are inside the Senyuji complex. We found the Yokihi Kanondo, which was built by the Emperor's concubine to preserve her faith. It was burned down later and rebuilt using timber from the palace. National Garden and Palace. We can go straight up to the palace. Kyoto used to be the capital earlier in the day. Hence, the castle here still remains as the central point of the city. The emperors have now moved to Tokyo, which we showed in the second episode of the series. Palace grounds become a meeting point for pet owners, walkers, strollers, cyclists around evenings. We spent a few hours here just interacting with them and cherishing a good day of exploring the city with Liam, our friend from Canada. We were served the best charred beef at Iwai's kitchen near Nijo Castle. followed with a game of Jenga with the castles, who are also from Canada. We met them in Hiroshima first and decided to catch up later in Kyoto. That night, we came this close to beating the world record of Jenga. Catch the last episode of our Japan trip next. And don't forget to subscribe, like and tell us how you liked Kyoto in comments below.